Forrester. They were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Father wanted to make sure they'd bend the knee. And what do I find? <laughs> A child lord. Ethan the Bold. <laughs> With some parasite by his side. As if I'd come to negotiate. <laughs> and I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. Grandmother, that day Cersei dragged her before the throne, she claimed loyalty to me right in front of her. But then she had the audacity to go behind my back and meet with Tyrion when I'd clearly forbade it. And then that letter she forged to Elena Glenmore, as if I wouldn't find out. It was bold, I'll give her that. But I can't forgive that she used me. And now, with all that's happened to her, who knows what else Mira was doing without my knowledge? Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tuttle. I thought I could trust in him, Sam, but I was wrong. He gave me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the Godswood. Yet before a day was out, a brother was dead at the foot of the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I defended him to Frostfinger. And it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should return then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. Back from the twins with balls so shrunken he let Griff White till beat him into the mud in his own yard. Reek. I had to come and see this walking tragedy for myself. But then... He jabbed out that fourthborn's eye. He killed the man who betrayed him. I was rather starting to like him. A shame he didn't last longer. Roderick. A saviour who couldn't save anyone. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. He was rude and aggressive, mind you. But he he didn't play games. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. But there was no easy answer. But then he told me the truth. He'd risked losing all he had come here for to stand by his friend. A former slave. In the end, that mattered more than disobeying an order. Loyalty. Friendship. Respect. Without them, we have... nothing. I think, in the end, Mira came to understand that, Grandmother. She could so easily have turned on Sarah to protect herself, but instead, what she did it took grace. If you're fierce enough, you leave King's Landing with your honor intact. Mira proved that. But at so high a cost. I could have told you this story wasn't going to have a happy ending. Roderick dead, his mother dead, his little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, Father. I know these foresters. If they had any sense, they'd know when to bend the knee and live to see another day. They fought hard, I'll give them that, but they were reckless. Shrewd when they should have been bold. Impetuous to the last. When will these northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead, the war is over, and they lost.
We haven't much time. <laughs> 